Oh, absolutely. Um, mm. let me get let me get to my list. Oh, Is it my you... my to do list? I like, yeah. See, I got a little list now. I like that we're coming prepared. Yeah. Uh, it, it says podcast, and I have stuff written on it. Oh, that's probably the same same uh, situation. Can as uh, me. can we just start the podcast? Uh, it's what the fuck day? <laughs> It's the 23rd. <laughs> Yesterday, the 22nd, was our number one uh, listener's birthday. Happy birthday, Margaret Contreras. From day one. From day one. Day one, listener. We start making that, we start making that big money. Listen, I, I, <laughs> I kind of threatened her <laughs> on the last podcast. <laughs> For what? Because when we were saying how uh, your new nickname. Oh, that fat Marco bullshit. <laughs> instead yeah, yeah. Of, that fake, that fake name nonsense. Since, yeah, we'll get into that. Listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> you're no longer angry, Marco. That name is. Oh, I'm angry, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm plenty angry. Well, you're going to have to earn that back by losing. By losing some weight? By losing the fat Marco title. Oh, all right, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, we decided you were fat Marco. We said that's a good rib. And since we knew you don't. I mean, we, you don't listen to the podcast because I do not listen to the furlough files. I'm well, sorry, I, and I'm sure he does. I'm sure Andy doesn't listen to this one. Who, yeah. who's, yeah, unless, so, we, unless we call him, <laughs> right? This isn't the, like a a a, a Blake situation where once once he hears his name's been mentioned, his ears perk up. Yeah. So uh, uh, we uh, we were like, uh, we just didn't want her to tell you. So I I may yeah. I, I didn't I didn't. I didn't really threaten her. I was just yeah. got a little. I just got a little tough. And, well, I'm going to uh, see her today, so she calls me Fat Marco. I'm uh, going to know what's up. I, <laughs> I may have to me uh, message her to uh, remind oh. her to call you Fat Marco. Yeah. But, but happy birthday, Margaret! To many, to many more. Yes, I'm lighting a, a birthday candle uh, today in your honor uh, for your birthday. Um, so, so what's your list consist of? Well, I can remove Fat Marco because we've addressed uh -huh. that elf in the well, fucking I, room. I mean. <laughs> The elephant's still in the room, Fuck pal. you. <laughs> God damn. It's like I didn't even finish that sentence, and I'm like, you motherfucker, you just threw a softball right that the was fuck up. the layup of layups. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That you well, alley-ooped me for a uh, fucking dunk. I'm glad you hit it because I would have been upset if you hadn't. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, man. I've got uh, our viral video. Okay. I've got um, Permit Patty. I got Permit Patty slash Karen. And because you had reminded me at some point to remind you to tell on air the yellow folder story. Oh, yeah. I got that. Okay. I've also got Dan and the Toilet Snake. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the install from hell. Yes. Which yes. is part of the Permit mm. Patty. Uh, well, part of the viral video. Of and mine. viral yeah. video. And so those cover a lot of things. Oh, and... Uh, someone got their driver license issued taken care did, of. This actually, week. someone had a fairly good week. I had such a good week <laughs> that you could see I have two lotto tickets <laughs> here that I'm waving in front of you that I bought yesterday because my luck was so or well, I wouldn't say my luck was so good this week, but so many things went my yeah. way because uh, also we'll get into this. Uh, someone's stimulus check finally arrived this week ba, too. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> So let's let's start here since I'm waving the uh, the tickets around, uh, and that was the thing that happened earliest in the week. Pretty much was that uh, I had uh, just for whatever reason because I I hadn't been driving for a while and I didn't have a car uh, that I uh, I had let my driver's license lapse. It expired, and uh, like a year ago, I went to go look into renewing it, and it said there was some kind of suspension on it because I had been. Uh, uh, it said I had a vehicle that was uninsured, but what had happened was that vehicle died on me. I had sold it for like three hundred. Come here, tow it away. Give yeah. me five hundred bucks for it. Um, so, uh, so I obviously I'm not insuring that anymore. It wasn't even in my possession. But I think they got information crossed, or when I signed the pink slip over, they didn't register it. They just yanked what was usable <laughs> out of that car and cubed it. So. Uh, they thought I still owned the car, but I wasn't insuring it. Yeah. Um, so I guess post, uh, so I, I apparently <laughs> without even knowing my license had been suspended before it expired. But then when I looked to renew it again, <clears throat> cause our job, uh, eventually I would be in my own car. I would need an, o <laughs> an operator's license or a driver's license, whatever. And, uh, I looked and there was no suspension. So magically that cleared up on its own. Yeah. So I, because we're in the middle of a pandemic. <clears throat> I got something back in my throat. Uh, rough date last night. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, 
the <clears throat> there's a you know there's you can't do walk-ins yeah you got to call in you know i used to do back in the day at the dmv i would just show up 15 minutes before they opened line up and they'd always just handle you within yeah. within the early appointments because people come late but so they'd have openings um but they will not see anyone without an appointment so you go to the website to make the appointments and only certain places are open yeah you know so i'm the sunrise location i'm like all right for a week, I'm trying to get an appointment. They appoint. Now you stayed up to like midnight for well, this. Well, that's that's the trick that I'm oh, kind of working my way to. Too, okay. Was that uh, for like a week? I'm trying to go online at different times of the day and night to get an appointment, and they only appoint out for like two weeks ahead. Like the whole for two weeks, they block out, and every twenty minutes or so, they have like eight appointments or whatever it is. Uh, and they're just, it's always full. You can't, so I'm like, how are they doing this? And I just figured one night I just back logic it that like, uh, okay, when the next day opens, when does that open? So I stayed up till 1201 and went and the next day it opened and all the spaces were open and I got one. So I wait to almost two weeks. I'm ready to get my license fixed. And two weeks, I mean, two days before I get an email that my appointment's been canceled. The office has been closed. I assume someone got cooties in there. Yeah. Someone got some COVID cooties and they <laughs> shut the whole fucking place down and said, we're out of here. Now, I didn't realize that they were saying just that office. I thought they'd shut everything down because this was right when everything was spiking. Yeah. Again, when everyone thought it was OK to come out. Woohoo, parties. They thought there was uh, there wasn't going to be six more weeks of winter. Yeah. And uh, and then they realized there were. And so I thought everything shut down. But then I. Jeff and I were doing a call and I saw we were at the sh shopping center and there was another driver's license place and there were all these people milling around front yeah. and I go, they look in business. <laughs> and so that night I went online and I saw that they were taking points to other places. So I did the whole two week later trick again, midnight, yada, yeah. yada. So, so five, six weeks after initially trying to get this finally got done, that license. I, we went, you dropped me off because we just did it during work. Fuck yeah. It. Um, you dropped me off about half an hour beforehand because yeah, like we, we got there early because we're yeah. idiots and, uh, they let me in 10 minutes early cause this is how efficient it works, man. Yeah. So efficient. Bang, bang, bang. Dude, I'm anyone right now, get your shit done during a pandemic. Yeah. Cause it's like, you know, you're not shoulder to shoulder with a gazillion people in there. It's, it's, uh, it's so, uh, you know, they've limited the number of appointments per time. Some of those people don't show up. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Dude, it took me 20 minutes. And they don't want you in there any longer than you have to be in no. there. So there's no bullshit. No. Well, you just go in, put right. your paperwork, and, prove you're you, and off you go. Well, also, like, if you A, you need an appointment. B, you got to have all your shit. Yeah. If you don't have all your shit, they, they're like, well, yeah. you ain't getting it done today. Peace, mofo. It was funny because they're like well, we need like proof that you live somewhere. And I'm like, I have a roommate and all the bills are in his name. Yeah. So I had to like scrounge. I'm like, all right, I got a couple of bank statements and I got a <laughs> cell phone bill. I'm like, yeah. hopefully this is enough. But I brought a bunch of them to prove that I, I didn't just have them sent here once. You know, <laughs> she laughed at how many like proofs of this and that I had. She was like, whatever, man. Did, I forgot it's DMV. They do not care. Yeah. Uh, it, to the point where uh, the vision check. Oh, that's right. Vision check. I, I'm like. She's like, read the read line, like whatever, five. And I read the first block and the second block. I didn't realize there was a third block. She's like, read the third block. I'm like, oh, shit. So I like rub my eyes. I get the stuff and clean the lens off again to look at it. <sighs> and I'm like squinting and I'm breathing. And I like pull my head back and blink a couple times. I look again. I still can't make these fucking letters. <laughs> numbers out. And God now I'm like, like an immediate flop yeah. sweat that I'm going to spent six weeks waiting to not and then like have all my shit prepared it's the worst man and still get a foot in the ass and show the door and uh and i i must have made out that the round ones were round letters and, num yeah. and numbers they didn't have to be the right ones yeah but i read them and she's like close enough <laughs> holy fuck it's <laughs> like thank god close enough bent temples <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, thank God. And so but the whole the whole thing took like. Yeah, because you called me at like 15. 9, 12. I was like, oh, that 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 was quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so what I'm like thinking like, oh, I should just get my passport done right now too. fuck it. You know, it's it. This is the time like just. Yes, you'll have to like wait. You'll have to make your appointment 
you know, but you walk right in and just ex- get it done with when you when you do when your appointment one, does once come you're, up. Once you're once you're two weeks of waiting for the first appointment you could get, yeah, you know, yeah. it then the actual process of it was just boom, boom, so boom. like like they should stay like this. Oh, fuck it, I don't care. Like, yeah. hey, hey, you you want you want to get your shit done? Yeah, go through this. Ex- this tough process. There's not none of this like crowding where everything's running over because they're letting extra people go through and they're overbooking. Uh, this was great. So, that, I know it's a little boring, but uh, so what? Well, long long story short, Ben didn't have a license, and now Ben's a full adult again. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I you you just get in, you just put things off, and then it makes it worse and worse and worse. And the pandemic didn't help at all. No, well, yeah, I mean it didn't, but then it did. Yeah. So so uh, let's just get into the week because most a lot of the store like three or four of the topics that we're we both made notes to talk about were about our yeah. work week. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so we do uh, we install backflows. I think we've made that fairly uh, clear on the podcast. Maybe we haven't, but we we install, repair, test. Basically, um, domestic irrigation water is our job when it comes to that. Um, Incoming. We don't deal with poop water. No, we do not deal with sewage. Thank God. Otherwise, this this podcast would be a, a whole different tone. <laughs> right. Well, that that video because <laughs> there's so there's the geyser of water is ha, kicks up so much dirt and, mu- and and rocks. People, some people thought it was a shit pipe. Yeah. And by the way, you can uh, look these videos we're speaking about on the Briz Cliz uh, TikTok. Yeah. <clears throat> At Briz Cliz B R I Z C L I Z. So so. First, with this, let's just like the the community. We they had like ten for they, they, likes for like five we were doing buildings. we we were reinstalling, um, uh, uh, six out of the ten. Six out of the ten six for five buildings. 10. So five some buildings, buildings needed both replaced. Some yeah. needed one replaced. It was basically just whichever ones failed. And and just to just to make it easy, um, it's usually fairly simple plumbing work. You just take your time and make everything square. It's turn, not a big deal. Turn turn the source of the water off mm-hmm. at 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 <clears throat> at the meter. Cut some pipes. Put you know. some new pipes on with the new backflow attached and your the bing longest, bang boom yeah. the longest you usually have to wait at at, at these buildings um for an is install. for glue to dry right um if you're doing pvc if you're doing copper it's, it's all even instantaneous fast. Yeah, because it's even we fast. we use it with press fittings so all you plumbers out there like you should only be sorry shut your mouth press fittings are are, are god's gift of to the plumbing industry <laughs> well, we soldered one of them and then we realized did. well we started we st- we 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 started um, well, that's, sweating. Well, that's the beginning. Yeah. That's not the beginning, beginning. But yeah. like the Karen thing came first. But the we we th- actually the Karen thing came we, because we had already installed two back. We thought, we thought we were dealing with brass pipes. Yeah. So we were going to have to uh, sweat solder. Because we whatever. went there. We went there. We went there to look at everything, and it was actually stamped on the pipe. It was stamped like whatever Mullers or, or whatever yeah. brass, brass company. company. So I just assumed like, oh, and it, it kind of looked like brass. It, if you re- stamp it, the word brass on something, yeah. you would assume it's brass. And then we got there and we cut it in half. We're yeah. like, nope, that's copper. The second I made that cut, I'm like, this sure is copper. And I'm like, well, fuck it. We brought everything to sweat these fittings on. So I started sweating the fittings. It didn't take that long. It didn't take that long. But at the same time, I'm like, man. I'm going to press this shit from now on. Yeah, fuck it. Like, I only sweat when I need to sweat, you know? We sweat enough. It's Florida. Yeah, you know? it's it, the press fittings are, like, again, God's gift to our industry. So, um, And for all the plumbers out there that are angrily shaking their fists, like, you're old school, I understand. I can sweat any day, all day. But guess what? Um, our, our, our boss loves to use these fittings. Um, prefers to use them, so why not make our job easier? Right. Fuck, fuck them. I don't care. <laughs> well, it, they, they have made their opinions known in our videos, well, and we have they, an opportunity now well, to respond to a few well, of them. Well, they claim that they're... Oh, pro- they are. Yeah, they're, fucking, they're all internet All everything. those hack pages, all those all those trade hack pages, everyone's... Oh, man, when I ran my million-dollar company, oh, you're a millionaire? No, I live in a trailer in Alabama. Oh, all right, shit, you're fucking whore mouth. Right, whore mouth. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> So we had done those two, and then we were like, fuck it. We don't want to do another one today. Let's just dig yeah. out prep work for the other yeah. ones. So we end up yeah. at this one building. We start digging out the uh, the two pipes. We're halfway through the dig process. So so that like so that tomorrow, yeah. bright and early, we can just get started. We don't have to do all this digging. 
Yeah, which sometimes digging sucks, depending what you're digging into. Yeah. But these weren't too bad. And this lady is like out there. Was she smoking? Yeah, I, I think, think she, she was. She like she came out to smoke a cigarette and yeah, just happened to like, see us. She's like in her sixties, I would <clears throat> guess. Yeah, and uh, spoke and, like this. And she was looking at us while we were doing it, but just kind of like chilling and smoking. I didn't. I didn't even think anything of it yeah. until you engaged. I her. originally, by the way, thought she was mad that we weren't wearing masks. Oh, that's the that because I couldn't. My brain wasn't going to be prepared for what came after the the real <laughs> stupidity. Yeah. So, so you you made the mistake of going like, "How are you?" or "Hello" or whatever. She was staring at us. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, "Hey, how you doing today, ma'am?" You know, and it just just to see, you know, I, I you know, maybe maybe she thinks her water's about to be turned off, and, and I'm like, "Okay, I can diffuse this." Like, it's not hard to diffuse these and customers. This, we between do it all the time. this between this and filming the actual work we did that got two million views. Uh, has now taught me that I need to have a camera running at almost any situation because yeah. we missed her. Yeah, and we thought she'd be back, but well, let's, well, she would definitely have made so, us go viral. Oh yeah. So um, what, what? So so she, man, and I don't remember. Maybe you do. She had mentioned something about what we were doing, and I made some casual offhand, just some casual like, haha, like yeah, some, like yeah, yeah, like as as long as we don't crack a pipe and it floods or something. Yeah, some, something, so, something just to diffuse because she seemed to be a little irritated irritated and you never know with these people they think their water's going to be cut off or they've had a bad day so you know just something kind of like haha just to kind of lighten the mood she said, that's not funny and i went oh no <laughs> like in my mind i went uh oh <laughs> yeah and and i don't know these are like these are like three-story condos that like are they're spread wide they're not yeah. sp they're not built tall but uh so i don't even know what you would average how many uh I would say actual like, living i would say spaces probably are. about from the looks of it, it's probably about 120 per unit per, per building per building. I wouldn't say that. I'd say maybe like 30 per building. I, I thought like maybe. Well, so what do you think? 10 per side per floor or something? Yeah, something like that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. So, yeah. So let's say there's 60 residents in there. Uh, so she, yeah, there's always going to be like bad eggs. Yeah. And this lady's like, just starts like immediately with a bad attitude. And then, like, I don't think we even said anything to her again. We just went back to working. Yeah, it was like, it was uncomfortable, like, okay. And she goes, where's your permits? Yeah, I'm like, and oh, I was like, God. And immediately, I'm like, I'm like, oh, no. Um, you know, and I went to, I think Zach and I went to the default of, uh, well, you know, uh, the art, uh, we're, we're subcontracting through this plumbing company, so they'll have all the information for yeah. you if you want to reach out to them. You know, it's, it's bullshit. Uh, it just just it just sounds really official. And just, just to get her to go away. <laughs> yeah. Half the time when you speak with these customers, you just want them to go away. You're doing a job, and <clears throat> as abysmally hot as it is in Florida, it gets worse after, like, a rain. And this week was just, like, we, we ripe always, with all that. We always hang permits, but the way yeah. that they're done usually is that they're, like, applied for yeah. uh we don't do the work before we have them all you mm. need is something that says they've been applied for yeah and you, we didn't uh, we didn't even have that on us at the time but i mean we've never in a million years uh, yeah. have since all the done ones you've done all the ones no. zach's done have ever had anyone yeah, for, ask to see one for, and for everyone out there who has that kind of knowledge what how backflows work in south florida is you simply go that you need to install a backflow you go you do the install apply for the permit you put the permit you know in a little baggie with all the information and inspector call for the inspection the inspection inspector comes inspects the install signs off on it biggie body boom, boom basically the city just wants to know that you had a half decent idea what you were doing. You did it to what stupid literal codes they may, and they or may got, not have. And they got paid. And they got paid. They got paid. That's all that matters um, is that the registration process goes uh, pr uh, properly because um, every backflow is registered with the city individually because back in the day, they there was a high theft rate because backflows are made out of brass. And, um, and and a lot of times piped in copper. So, and piped in yeah. copper. So they became a uh, uh, the highly sought after theft item, um, especially in like lower areas with the homeless and whatnot. Because, you know, one backfill, I guess, equal, equates to one crack rock or whatever it may I be. Uh, um, you make some money. Yeah, you can make a few bucks, um, which is why a lot of stuff we do now is in uh, PVC. And a lot of the backflows now are anti-theft device, either made of plastic or a material other than brass. Or or the facility has been cages that mm -hmm. are locked. So yeah. So then so then we say, oh, we don't have we don't have have yeah. one, you know anything else. We don't have anything. Which, we don't because because that's not how it works. <laughs> right. And but and also we should have said, and we don't have to show you 
The only person we have to show is the city. I think it just took us all by surprise. It was yeah. later in the day. We were already like, we were just done, man. Yeah. Well, I think we didn't know yeah. how to handle it. Because I was yeah. already... Because it's the first time. And I was already upset because like, all right, I can usually install up to like five backflows by myself in a day if they're all clustered together and I can go. So this six backflow job, I was like, oh, we'll be done by like, I mean, we might come back Wednesday to just to kind of like... You know, finish up. Oh, this took till Friday. Oh boy, did I eat those goddamn <laughs> words? And I was already mad because we only got one backflow done that day. And I know it was all reassurance. And in in the end of the day, it was like, yeah, we got one done, but look what we had to go through to get that one done. And I, I was just like, because we had a water issue, and we had water issues all through every. There, everything was there was a bunch of underground cross connections between the meters. The meters didn't shut off the backflows that they were supposed to. There was no city shutoffs for the water that should have. I mean, it was it was it was a big cluster, and the idea was we were going to dig everything out, prepare everything, and get with our office in the morning, figure it all out. Then permit Patty comes out, starts talking about permits, and we just try to tell her it's like they've been applied for. She goes, she goes, well, I've worked with the city for twenty five years, and blah, and she starts going off and that's out. That's not how it's done. Yeah, all the intimate knowledge. She has on permitting, and then so, I... Which means that what this lady did was she worked in the permit office for the city for 25 years, mm -hmm. had some power, is now retired, and wanted to flex some, like, relive her glory yeah. days and actually, like, hold yeah. some power over someone for a few minutes. And apparently, talking to other people after this that live there, they said she is a pain in, in the, the ass. ass. Yeah, we came to find yeah. out later that she is literally Satan's left pinky toe. Mm -hmm. So um, so she starts going off of that. And, and um, uh, my uh, my cohort, uh, Zach, he he's a sensitive fellow sometimes. He's not, he's not used to uh, hurdles and obstructions and... no. He also couldn't deal with a lot of the comments on our video. Oh, no, no, he no. He's, all upset. he's, and luckily we have. And I'm like, Zach, this is the internet. Yeah. This is how it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, this is exactly how the If you post operates. something on the internet, even this podcast, expect some people yeah. to shit he got, all over he you. He got so mad. I'm like, I'm like, man, you got to calm down. I was like, you need to, you need, I need to give you some of my wisdom of 15 years of, of wrestling of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, fucking, uh, um, Keyboard warriors telling you how much you suck, right? You know, so it is what it is. But yeah, we're you and I, we're totally used to all that criticism and shit. It doesn't even bother us I, at all. I so regret not putting my phone because she got a little aggressive with us and barking yeah. at us and being a know it all and whatever. And I ended up just like as politely as I could, like, "Well, you do what you have to do, man. Right. Like, whatever you feel yeah. you have to do, you go ahead. We're going to continue to She's do like, our I'm work. I'm going to call the city right yeah, now. Go, go right ahead and 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 look." A lot of times when someone starts threatening you with, I'm going to call the city or I'm going to call this, man, they are just puffing out their chest and peacocking. Not this lady. This lady, li I mean, listen, you can say what you want. She had the connections, Ben, because in 10 minutes, that dude was out there. If it was even 10 <laughs> yeah. minutes. Yeah, because we had moved on to the next building. We hadn't started halfway digging, and a city truck pulled up, and I was like, I, I wanted to be mad, but I was like, man, I I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, this like guy <laughs> pulled up in the city truck and was like, What's going on, guys? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then he basically was like, uh, "Yeah, I'm gonna roll by in a couple of days. You better have the permits." Oh yeah, yeah. He was, he was, he was trying to, he was trying. But to then, his dick. but then we finished digging all the other spots. Yeah. And when we were leaving, he was still parked in the community, and she was still talking. Yeah, because they him. fuck. They may have known each other. She may suck his. Yeah, that's a hundred percent. Suck his uh, wang. And, and, may, and, who knows? And, I don't know. And but. if I could just take this moment, I have spent a majority of my life in the trade business. Um, I have dealt with, with city officials and city inspectors most of my adult life, uh, um, except for a few good eggs. They can all burn in the fiery pits of a fucking lava <laughs> pit. Um, you're a miserable son of a bitch. You couldn't become a cop because you're that inept physically, so you became a city inspector instead. You are the worst of the worst of a badged official, and I fucking hope you get fucking COVID in both your eyes. Mm. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So then we I could tell stories forever, by the way, of of like my father when I was a kid threatening <laughs> the lives of city inspectors every time they showed up. Like like I have images of him uh, like like, you know, just grabbing a bat out of the van and being like, you stay here. And just like all here is like, I'll fuck you while you get the fuck off and just all the shit. Like one time he threatened to throw one off a roof of a building. <laughs> so so I have and grown up around um uh trade people that aggressively don't want you, fucking inspectors actually you were raised with to, with a innate hatred of it <laughs> yes 
Yes, but in, but but in my position and where we are now, I you know I'm very very professional. So I might hate your fucking ever living guts, but the wrestling business taught me to serve you with a smile and babyface you. Yeah. So 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 uh, we babyface the shit out of that guy. So we were like planning for the next day. Going, yeah. Oh, we got to get our GoPro. This oh, lady. Yeah, we good. were. We were. And we were going to start pushing her buttons we because you know. But uh, especially me. But between that time, our boss kind of got all the paperwork together to show another city inspector. We've never needed this ahead of time. Ever. Ever. But so we had everything. Yeah. So we were prepared. And we were prepared if she ever came back out to be like, we don't have to show you shit. Yeah. You know, just to, and we were excited about that conversation. I was so happy when he because, told me that. Because <laughs> we were excited about that conversation because we knew that would inflame her. Oh, yeah. And get her going. And she would call the city's official out. We'd have the paperwork and she'd look like egg on her face. Right. So, oh, it'd be so great. So, so un- wonderful. But unfortunately, when we got there the next day, they, the... Because, look, we're doing work that's been approved by the condo association, yeah. by the board, that she's not on and not involved with. And so we're talking to someone else, and they're like, oh, yeah, uh, the board told her to shut the fuck up and that she is not allowed to talk to us. No. No, you, 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 the, the, old, the old president of the board, who, by the way, is a, a silent hero in this whole story, because not only did he field a bunch of calls for us when things were going uh, sideways, not only did he kind of, like, talk with everybody and, and deal with all the situation. Well, this is also because he's politicking to but he's, be the president He's politicking, and by the way, you've got, I don't even live there, bro. If, if my vote helps... I think Ben and I would Dude, both just bringing us cold waters got got my vote. Yeah, <laughs> like he was super, 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 super cool, and he totally understood this process. And he gave us the best, best uh, on Friday piece of information, the icing on the cake, the for, icing of the cake for that made everything Patty. Yeah. The, all the hell she put us through, and we come out Friday to know that her that her the ceiling in her bathroom had had caved in the day before. Well, the, the day before Friday, so like Thursday, I think. Right, it after was. our conversation. After our conversation, which is me as God striking justice in her fucking black heart and soul. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, we, we we met our. We really had an experience with a, with our very and first. And she was like suing the the board of the condo to pay for it. Yeah, and like, well, yeah. I mean, I don't know it's, where. I don't care where any of that lies. I just know that's going to be even more contention, and everyone's going to hate her more. All I know is it's fantastic all around. Yeah. Uh, fantastic all around come up and so in between permit patty giving us a nightmare afternoon and us finishing the job and also getting the the fun news that that she was having karma rain on her head good uh we had to replace two backflows live to a building where the meters that were right there didn't shut the didn't shut the water off the pipe when we dug deeper because these meters weren't shut and we had to go where are these then where are these connected to yeah (laughs) uh was a big three inch pipe that ran somewhere it ran under under the actual building and we couldn't find the shutoff legend tells it's still running to this day and uh and who fuck knows (laughs) and uh and when we contact the city about how do we shut this pipe up off their they their basic answer was a shrug yeah we got a shrug emoji out of them we don't we don't know yeah. we don't like and so we went no, no say we went out of the <laughs> we went out of the complex down the street looking for any shut off we turned everything that could turn water off off yeah. and nothing affected this so we were like well yeah. let's go yeah. in hot and the original pro the original idea for 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 all you master plumbers out there was mm, we were get too bogged down and well, we were just going to press them. We were, we were just going to press ball valves and a ball valve is just a shut off valve. It's all it is. It's just it's a swing, a swing shut off valve with a little ball. It's whatever. It's the ball valve. And we were just going to press that on, cut it, let the water shoot up, press the valve on. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. However, upon upon a beginning, the, the beginning, the uh, further the, the demo of the old backflow, when I cut it out, we found all these cracks and all these uh because it's just set up really weird. So everything that was started as soon as we started cutting things. Everything started to leak. Everything started to leak wherever there yeah, was a connection. Wherever there was a connection. And so we looked down at the bottom and we realized that the pipe was just screwed in to yeah, the threaded in to the T joint. So we were like, well, this is even easier. We unscrew the one yeah. and while water's gushing up, we yeah. fight the water and we screw another one in that mm-hmm. has the the shutoff on it. Yep, I, we we prepare the pieces and everything, and then and uh, we Zach goes. Yeah, we Zach. weren't we weren't ready 
we weren't ready for the amount of pressure that was going to come out of that. Pipe. No, no, because I've done I've done live backflow installs, but first off, the water never comes vertically; it's always shooting horizontally because you're you're pulling a, a a fitting onto a pipe. And two, I've never dealt with a line this big. Right. Uh, usually, when you do something live, a three quarter inch or a one inch That's backflow, not it's that not big. that big of a deal. Um, this was a three inch line. Well, to a two inch hole. But this is a little bit of hubris, by the way, of me and my partner thinking like, "Hey, we got this." Mm -hmm. um, we we um, we were taught a lesson <laughs> this year. So, so when <laughs> on this day, <laughs> so in the video, which is on the TikTok, and Zach was the one who was like, "Hey, we should film this." Yes, Zach. Zach was the one that said that. Oh. He he. Yeah, so I, I just double. Oh, did he say, like, I wish we had the GoPro so we could film this? And, and I said, we'll just film it with my camera. Yeah. So I double stuck tape my my phone to the wall, yeah. hit record, and this is what you see. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so so basically, Zach, I'm holding the bushes back so he could yeah. spin the thing off. Because it's got yeah. it, so he's he's turning it out, and, and I've got the piece. I'm going to dive in. You're standing. And I'm gonna screw it on. You're standing holding the pot, the yeah. new pipe. I'm sitting here going like. Why does this feel like a bad idea? This feels like a bad idea, but no, we can do this. So we, he pops it this. off, and water starts spraying up. Yeah. And it's not only is it the water, yeah. but because it's below the hole, it's shooting all the dirt. Which I hadn't anticipated. And rocks. Because I figured we dug enough around. That surprised me. And this water went up three stories. Yep. Like on the third story, on the walkway that's exposed to all the doors. Yeah. There's wa there was water up there. I had to clean rocks and dirt and everything off of all th all three floors. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys are trying to fight this thing, and you can't get it on. So, it's literally flying out of your hands. So I dove in. Yeah. I dove in off the I, – I dove in, and we, we had the ball valve open, so the water would just shoot through the pipe. So I didn't think anything of it. I dove in. I think the first thing – because I remember we were in safety glasses – because I had contacts in, so I'm like, I wear safety glasses. This won't be that big of a deal. Like, yeah, we're gonna get. So we all knew we were gonna get soaking wet, yeah. but I would be able to do this no problem. We knew we were gonna get wet, but we thought this was gonna go yeah. pretty smoothly. So I, I, I got in there, and I'm telling you, man, the second I tried to put that pipe in that water on that hose, man, I think a rock came up and like took my fucking safety glasses right off. The like, first thing they did, first thing that happened was safety glasses went flying into the ether. We found them down the parking lot. Yeah. Like the end of the day, like this is how much water it was. So I'm just like, oh, this is gonna suck. So Se I get seventy eight pounds of pressure. Yeah. So I get in there and I'm just trying my best and I cannot get this pipe anywhere close to this. And finally, uh, in the video, you see I bail. Zach grabs it. He tries. He bails. And then we're like, oh. well, and that's when the video ends. But you guys try again. Yeah. Because I, I recorded four minutes. Yeah. Uh, together. We both only, jumped in together. And only put a minute up. Yeah. We weren't strong enough. No. We did everything we could. I I got close enough to where I could get the threads by the um, by the fitting. But the second I tried to, to push the pipe over, it, it there was too much force. I couldn't hold on. Um it was crazy. It was really, really so crazy. So Zach and I go again to look for a shutoff somewhere. Yeah. And we can't find anything. Uh, but on the way back, he has this idea like, why don't we open the... Uh, because everything's cross connected And they were back to back. Because they're, everything's cross connected and they're they're flowing right off each other. Yeah. Uh, he was like, let's open the other backflow that we're going to have to do the same thing anyway, with. Anyway, yeah. Uh, and lessen some of the pressure. And that worked like a charm. Yeah, that, that worked immediately. And that's the second video. That's the is second us, video. Is us accomplishing Because everyone was, everyone was demanding. I wasn't yeah. even thinking. I didn't post it. And then a bunch of the comments on the video was yeah. like, Where, where's part two? Where's part two? I'm like, oh, yeah, we should. Because yeah. in part one, we just look like idiots. Yeah. And in part two, we look like heroes. Yeah. So, so and, and the comments reflect that. Like, there's a lot of, like, tradesmen going, attaboy, you stuck with yeah. it, you got it, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Been there, you know, all that shit. And it's funny. It's so funny. But so... <laughs> So we finally got it, and then we did the other one the same way, where you open up and you leave some pressure, and it, it went way. We should smoother. have filmed that one. Yeah, but whatever. Whatever. I, we, you know why we didn't? Because that one I think was closer to where the camera. Oh, okay. Would have been, and I didn't want to get my phone destroyed. So, yeah. um, so we did all that, and we got it finally. But I mean, yeah, we. <laughs> there's a lot of water. Yeah. That's gonna be a high bill. I don't know who's paying it, oh, but it's not gonna goodness. be me. <laughs> and 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 so. So after we had a uh, after we'd finished the first one, we're just kind of sitting there. We took we took five. I mean, we're all just fucking soaking wet, dude, to the bone. Yeah, like it feels good. 
Yeah. It felt it felt so, so that good. First twenty minutes. If well, I was gonna say it felt so good because it's a hot, yeah. humid Florida yeah. summer, height of the day kind of thing that I jumped back in the water at one point to just kind of like get another little yeah like. It, it, it did feel good because yeah because it, I mean if you walked into the sun I mean you you start it was it was miserable but yeah the getting wet did, especially after the after the initial soaking. It, it just didn't matter. When it hit you at first, it's bracing. Yeah. Then it was immediately refreshing. Yeah. And then the next three and a half hours was yeah. miserable. <laughs> it was a life of wet underwear and socks. And another thing we didn't film, because I guess we... we, we you guys have to understand, like, for everyone who, who's, who's listening to this maybe for the first time, because of what you saw on, on TikTok, um, we, we, were like, we were like, yeah, we filmed it, but yeah, we'll post it. But that was as... I mean, we didn't even, like... It was like whatever. I it, thought I thought it would get the same average because our account, the Briscoes account, yeah, is just has like it has like two hundred fifty followers. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. You know, every I mean, I've had some. All of my viral videos were ones that Anthony posted on his page. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think the most any video on that thing it got was twenty thousand. So I'm yeah. thinking, ah, oh, we'll get fifty at most if yeah. anyone even watches it. And it was just funny. So. Um, I'm, and because of the eventuality, I'm mad we missed this. But as we're preparing for the second one, the city's fire truck shows up. Oh yeah, and I should have filmed that. Too. And, and 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 we're That's all like, true. oh, they're not here for us. But I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, they're totally here for us. So he comes over, and starts talking to the the, the ex president of the association, and I'm finally like, I know they're here for us. So I walk over, and I'm like, hey guys, what's up? And he goes, hey man, we got a call of. Of a huge water leak and someone drowning. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> which is, I, which I get because when I was when Zach and I went out to look for a way to turn it off. Yeah. Which we had looked for before. We just this was last resort. Yeah. We were like, um, and the city had said we don't know, so I don't know why we were looking again. But we, when I was walking back, you were trying to work on it again, yeah. and you were f- like belly down on the ground. With your like shoulders and head in the water in the like that yeah. was erupting up, I even thought, oh, he looks like he's dead. <laughs> Except I saw you kind of moving. Yeah, but you were submerged Be- because I um when they had left, I made a concern. I grabbed the pipe and I get. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking do this. Mm-hmm. And the in the in the water was flowering up, so there was a there was a, a cavern to breathe in. So I'm like, I could be down there, but it looked like. You were submerged. And I didn't think about that, I guess. So I could get like someone across the parking lot in another building yeah. looking from the third floor at this geyser thinking. And just seeing my feet. <laughs> just seeing your prone body <laughs> disappear in the water. my body you could see with the, the plume. Yeah, so um, someone thought you did. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and he goes, yeah. I'm like, well, that would be me. I'm very much alive. <laughs> and... Um, Unfortunately, the makeshift uh, uh, water fountain, um, you know, we took care of that. And, and he's like, oh, and, and they're just like, okay. Like, and I'm like, but, you know, I'm sorry you guys like had to come out here for nothing. But if you want to pull up some lawn chairs, we're doing it again. <laughs> right. you, can, you can sit there and, uh, you know, bring your cameras out. At, at times, like, yeah. I was like, make a TikTok or an Instagram video. Get a few, uh, get a few views, you know. And, and I was just making a joke because I don't think any of us had any idea what was going to happen with that video right and um they left because you know they just want to go back to the station and play fucking call of duty or whatnot yeah they're probably fucking pissed that they had to pause the game for yeah. this um but they were they were kind enough so yeah we had that show up we we had a we had a restoration uh, company show up because they thought they were gonna have to restore like drywall because of a flood which it was no flood it was just the water and debris had gotten all the way up on the third floor which we had to wash off later um, but I guess, you know, you know, concerned. That uh, was a fuck show too. Oh, Jesus. I go up to the third floor with our hose, which isn't long enough. Well, 25 feet generally is fine for what we do. But where the water tab was, was in the laundry room, which was fun, which far was side. like 20 yeah. feet away. So yeah. I had five feet to actually go and spray the, <laughs> spray the dirt and, and then the and rocks the, off. There was a weird thing that she and the, uh, the, uh, custodian there insisted on on washing everything away it's like i mean it's our work we'll do it no and she's like no 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 no. (laughs) so but but even like even that didn't go smooth because i detached one of the hoses that the uh washing machine is attached to and when i go hook the hose up there's no water i had to go and undo the like the the cold water was like a trickle (laughs) on the other two floors it worked fine but on that floor it didn't i had to go to the hot water and then i'm like thumb on the uh 
you know, yeah. thumb on the hose to get some pressure on it. And it's hot water, so I'm burning my thumb, <laughs> washing this off. Uh, but yeah, so so uh, so we get it all done, and I I like I get home that night, and I just post it on the tic, the TikTok. I post like a minute or a minute and whatever whatever yeah. the max is that you're allowed to put on TikTok. Because we looked I, at the video right afterwards in a parking lot, and we all laughed. We were like, oh yeah, yeah we, we were gotta, watching. Yeah, it. We were all laughing. We got to put this up. This is great. And so I put it up, and then it, like, within, like, 20 minutes, it's caught on fire. Because you called me, like, what, a half hour later after we got on? He's like, he's like, bro, bro, we've got over 50,000 views. Yeah. We got 500 new, new followers on the fucking, on, on, on the site. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, that's some cr-. We're And I think we're both thinking at that point, like, we'll get a few more. But, like, all right, so we got a huge boost. That's cool. And, 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 and that was that. And so then, then the morning came. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd say like. Well, you have more of the story because you and Anthony were watching it as, yeah, as night. So went. at night we were watching and it was just if it, it finally cracked like a million and uh, whatever. I mean, now today, like two days later, or two and a half days later, whatever it is, we're over two million views on it. And, you know, we had 250 followers on it. it I think if we had had more followers, if our account had had a bigger numbers to start with we would have we would have even done better push, but yeah. but we, we ended up with like two million views so far and five thousand new followers and uh, et cetera, et cetera. and every video before and after it that we posted while this was going on was getting like ridiculous views 2.2 million views as yeah. of right now and so uh uh so i get an email the next morning from uh i wake up to an email from a uh, viral hog I assume, you know, this is all new to us. Maybe it's some people like whatever. Viral Hog, which is like a, a, I guess a company that like gets the rights to represent a video. So like, you know, they're like, well, if you, you know, sign a thing with us, we split it, any money generated 50-50, but we help generate money. You know, yeah. we're like going to put it on our thing and, and companies look at our site to look for content like news, yeah, uh, websites, the Ellen show, anyone yeah. that like deals in like showing viral videos and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't I, like I'm fuck it. It's free money. Yeah. Know? So I was like immediately was like uh, in the morning in the van. I'm just filling out the forms or whatever. You spent most of the morning just aggravated that the phone wouldn't. <laughs> oh, because there were issues, but uh, finally but, but, got it but, done. But, but to like, you know, strike while the iron's hot, not let that sit. Yeah, fuck it. Mm. I mean, it may make no money, but. God forbid someone... Uh, we make 50 bucks off that. That's pretty cool, man. That's true. But also, like, God forbid we're misre- misrepresented as uh, Bumble Dick plumbers yeah. and used in some national ad for a plumbing service or some Roto Rooter or whatever. whatever. Yeah. Uh, they're saying, like, you can get as much as $2,000 a second for commercials and stuff. I'm like, all right, whatever. Some of us are laughing all the way to the bank at that point. Yeah, so fuck it. I was like... Yeah. And the funniest part of all of this was that Zach... Uh, well, that was the Bless funniest his part. soul. He's like, well, there's a couple of things. One is that it was his idea to film it and to post it. Well, I guess filming it meant we were posting it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then the next day he's like, oh, I don't want anyone to see my face. Or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, who cares? You know? I, and and uh, he's like, yeah, they can't see my face, right? They can't make it out, right? It's like he can't understand how the internet works. People have already forgotten you existed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, let's say, yeah. let's say they were to use it in something. Yeah. I'm like, what? You wouldn't if Ellen showed it and wanted to ask what was going on there. You wouldn't take a free flight to wherever to yeah. uh, and get put up for a few days. Get, to, get verbally, verbally beaten down and disrespected by Ellen. I'm, I'm all for it. Or, or explain the situation. I'm all whatever. for that free vacation. We, we all, we all know. Explain that situation. Yeah, I would love to. Um, which is, I guess, I did too much of it now on the podcast, giving those little little fucking internet cretins a little bit of their due. But whatever. Yeah, there um, was a lot of there was a lot of people that uh, had no idea what the situation was, but decided to give their opinion on on us and and, and then on the second video, a lot of attaboys. Yeah, you know. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the story. I don't know if there's anything yeah. else you want to cover. No, it was just story. it was just cool that we, uh, you know, here we are. It was it was a, it was a hellish week. It was not fun. And in the middle of that, we got this weird viral thing, and it was it was really kind of cool. Well, what what's also cool about it is that it it literally got us uh, our TikTok account, yeah. which we were like, whatever. I did, I had no idea how to get the numbers up to it. Got all the numbers up to check off some boxes. Like, yeah, if we wanted to go live now with it, 
you need like a thousand followers. Yeah. So I was like, we were at 250. I was like, we were gaining yeah. people like a 10, 10, 10 people of. And of we've been playing the game thing, with, with so. all of this stuff. We've just been playing the game of synergy and time. Yeah. But you this, know? this kind of helps. So this was a great like bump in the, the now, road. Now, if only all of those people could go buy t-shirts. <laughs> we've got the new t-shirts uh, designs up. That's true. I guess we could. I This was not a, uh, a uh, premeditated plug. <laughs> transition but uh we did dizing we put we made these are our political statements for this election season is uh we, we have we're very strongly about these we, we feel, feel very, very strong strongly. is that we have two t-shirts up uh two new designs one one just says cardio is fake news i i'm 100 percent behind that statement yes i think uh, i've been and you know i've been saying that and using that phrase for a long time long time long time i think we so, all have <laughs> well, it, but I, yeah, listen, see, yes, it, All right. it. it's your baby. I invented it. And, uh, and the other one is a MAGA shirt, except instead of saying make, an, make America great again, it says make straws plastic again, mm -hmm. because we also have a thing on TikTok that is, uh, is it paper or is, is it, it plastic? plastic? Yeah. And it, it mm -hmm. basically we, when we get food at a place, we do a, we fire up the video camera and we find out before we unsheath that straw from its paper wrapper, uh, we're like, is it going to be plastic or is it going to be paper? And if yeah. it's plastic, we know we can eat here again. And yeah. if it's paper, you're basically have now yeah. been put on the... Uh, I feel as if we... The no-fly list. I, 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 I feel as if we, uh, um, if we were hiring the food chain and made money off this, if we came across paper, we would just throw the food away, walk out, and just like go to another place. <laughs> I wanted... I was... <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> like I, right then and there. <laughs> I, it probably blows up the spot now for spontaneity, but I was, I had a toilet thought of, uh, uh, you know, one time if it's paper, just grab your tray and dump it out. Son of a bitch. And you'd be like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "We can't eat here." <laughs> That's to get your honest reaction. Like, I paid for that. Oh, oh my God. It would be so hot. <laughs> Especially if it's like Char Hut. <laughs> yeah. They, they passed the test. So. Oh, God, did they? So, all right. So, uh, so we talked about the driver's license. Oh, uh, we need to talk about the yellow folder. Do you want to talk? You want to hear that story? I mean, okay. So, I, you know, it's funny. I only remember, like, you telling me to tell the yellow folder story. I don't even remember, like, the context of what you told me to tell me the story. Okay. Um, okay so when just, I was, we have very few things written down. So. so when I was in college at the Rhode Island School of Design, 90 to 94, which dates me, but great, great era to be in college. It was the beginning and end of the grunge movement. Uh, man, it was like... Here you go, humble bragging. The, ni the 90s were a great time. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Growing up in the 80s and then going to college in the 90s, it was like perfect. So uh, uh, I didn't get along with my roommate at all. He was a piece of shit. And, uh, and, but I wasn't like looking to move or doing... I was just like, I'll ride this out. I don't give a shit. I've, I, I have that mentality. Like yeah. It's kind of like the same mentality of I don't have insurance... I I don't need to see a doctor unless something's falling off. I'll ride it out. I've ridden out, I've ridden out broken legs. I've ridden out things that needed stitches. Yeah. I don't give a yeah. fuck. You can't be sick if you don't see a doctor. That's true. And so uh, and listen, you got to keep working and no. you got to pay those bills. I can't pay those bills if the doctor's taking my money. Mm -hmm. So uh, so this is kind of the same thing. Ride it out. Uh, and uh, and ironically, on our same floor, there was another two guys that were living in the room that weren't getting along. And so one day I was just approached with like, hey, uh, I know you're not getting along with your roommate. It was funny. It was our roommates that yeah. were doing talk and trying to make the switch. Um, so the guy, Paul, was like, do you mind if I switch with you and I'll go live with Sean? I think the guy's name was Sean. I don't even know what his name was. It was Sean something the fourth. His dad owned like a couple of like Meineke shops or something. Uh. They rich kid. He, know, he washed out of school. He didn't. I don't even think he went past freshman year. Yeah. Uh, but uh, just just a, I mean, just a cunt. And uh, I'll only give him credit was he did bang a lot of chicks. But because we weren't getting along, yeah. I didn't respect the fucking scarf on the door yeah. shit. I would go in, plop down, go to sleep, didn't give a fuck. He was, it was a lot of passive aggressive stuff like that. He would play fucking German fucking weirdo music to annoy me. And I learned how to sleep with headphones on. Yeah. It's like it was a back and forth little thing, you know. Um, and so the other two didn't get along either. So Paul, the guy that ended up taking my spot and I switching with him, 
ironically, he and I are the ones that became really good friends for the next four <laughs> years. Uh, to the point where he came down afterwards when we had Danzig at our shop to yeah. go hang out. We, I mean, I'm sort of not in touch with him. I am and I'm not because he's not really on social media and that kind yeah. of fucks every. I'm only in touch with people on social media. But uh, but every now and then I pop onto his one fucking page he does uh, do stuff on and uh, talk to him. But uh, so I switch with him and I start living with this guy named Chris. I don't remember his last name either. I, don't, I would probably say it if I did. I don't remember uh, because fuck him too. He was a uh, he was okay like mm -hmm. to live with. He had he was one of those guys in the early stages had a computer that he was on till all hours of the night and ninety to ninety four. Yeah, those loud routers that buzzing yeah. and beeping. But I had already learned with my last roommate to sleep with headphones yeah. on, so that didn't bother me. Just the lights on. Uh, so now I can I've learned to sleep in any situation. He um he had some issues before uh like the first week of school. Uh, he saw someone who was using like a coat hanger or sticking their arm up one of those vending machines to grab snacks. He reported them to like security. Ooh. So that guy who also lived on our floor, this is how you how you went viral in those days. He took he somehow got a hold of. Chris's uh, student ID photo and put up all these photocopied posters, quote, uh, lauding him as the junior deputy of the month. It's fantastic. <laughs> and yeah. sarcastically saying how he bravely stopped a, you know, person from trying yeah. to steal a pack of Cheez Its yeah. from the fucking vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. Oh, my God. Then the second thing. See, all this is before I ended up moving in with a guy. Yeah. Second thing that was hilarious was that this guy also, like our first week of school again, we're in like some art history class. And he like, you know, was one of those guys who raised his hand and gave his like tried to correct like the T.A. who was talking about something. Yeah. And uh, our friend Phil, who also lived on the floor. Uh, who I ended up rooming with one year and uh, a great guy. I'm still in touch with him. Uh, Reference did a reference to uh, Empire Strikes Back where they're like flying through the asteroids or something. And 3PO gives his information. Oh, never quote. Yeah. No, no, no. And <laughs> and fucking hot solo goes, someone throw the professor in the back. Oh, shit. Started calling him the professor. That's fantastic. So That's we've already got like two psychs. He's the junior deputy of the month and the professor. Yes. And here I am. I'm going to have to switch roommates and live with this guy. But mm -hmm. like I found him to be inoffensive, like in other ways, like he's just like, like, I'm not going to have problems living with this guy. So he so we move and it's everything. Everyone gets along fine. And he's like uh, <laughs> he's got like under his bed. He's kind of got it vaulted a little bit like on cinder blocks or something. So you could store more under there because you're in a college dorm. So he, all space is precious. And he had like a bunch of boxes of comic books. So he knew I like comic books. So he's like, oh, you know, whatever. If you, if you ever want to go through and read some stuff, it's cool, whatever. I forgot to tell you one thing. When we were moving, I switched to Paul. Paul goes, dude, just, just watch out for the yellow folder. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, he just kind of like smiles and goes, just shakes saying, goes, Don't, you know, just, just <laughs> Yeah, you know, watch out. <laughs> watch out for the yellow I folder. have no idea what it is. He, Chris, would go out of town for like weekends because I guess he had a girlfriend. And I'm quoting because I don't know. Because she never came and stayed over at our place. Yeah. At some other college or back home or whatever. Um, so some weekends he was gone. And I'm like, oh, let me go check out the books under there. I'm checking out the books under there. And this is like month, like months, at, like a month or two after we had done the move so like i had forgotten about the yellow folder thing until i saw the yellow folder under there uh -oh. and it was like this plastic like one of those plastic fold over folders where you could store like like a file folder yeah. kind of like yeah but it was bright yellow and i'm like i'm like oh this is the yellow folder oh no i remember the yellow folder <laughs> so i open it up and it's all these porno mags wow. so i made i immediately yell because it, it's just like the dorm is a hallway yeah. with a bunch of doors and everyone's yeah. doors are always open and everyone's pretty cool with each other. Come and go mm. to the, I'll tell you another story really quick. The guy that lived like two doors down from us on our floor. Yeah. This is an interesting story. He him and his roommate were skaters and two years 
above us, uh, you know, I guess he was a, a, a junior at the time, or maybe he was a sophomore while we were freshmen. Shepard Ferry went to our school, and he was a skateboarder too. Yeah. He started hanging out with those dudes. So every weekend, uh, you know, Shepard Ferry, who did the Obey Giant, yeah. merchandise line and the the andre the giant has a posse yeah viral stickers and posters who also created the obama hope poster years later and all mm -hmm. like this guy became a huge deal um i remember every fucking now and then walking by their room and seeing the three or four people including shepherd and these guys uh literally cutting sheets and sheets of these vinyl stickers that they would then just hand out to everyone and we yeah. would literally, when we went home to our respective cities, would be putting Andre the Giant has a posse stickers in the airports, on the stop signs, anywhere we went. Mm -hmm. And this, that's how this all blew up. So anyway, uh, going back to this, uh, I just yell out the out. I'm just standing there with a the folder looking at some porno, you know, like penthouse and this, yeah. that. I haven't even really dug through it yet. Yeah. I immediately like, guys, come here. And like three or four of the guys yeah. from the floor come over and like, I'm like, look what I found, the jackpot. Yeah. And so we all start like digging through and everyone's just lounging. If someone's sitting on his bed, someone's sitting on my bed. I said, we're all just looking through porno bags because yeah. there's no internet yet. Yeah. There's no internet yet. <laughs> this is like the bonanza. Yeah. So we're all just sitting there looking through stuff. And the funny thing is, as you went deeper and deeper in this pile of magazines, it starts going from like Playboy Penthouse to like, like shit. Like the only one I can remember was it was called Poppin' Mamas. <laughs> <laughs> can you <fig> <laughs> I can you can you from the title? Can you tell what that is? <laughs> Poppin' Mamas. Pregnant women. Yeah, it's a whole magazine of <laughs> that's pregnant uh, women. Oh my god, getting naked, doing foul shit. Because I said these these yeah. magazines got more aggressive. Mm. So it's it, we're just <laughs> we're like all right, and so we're loving it. We're like what the fuck. <laughs> all of a sudden, I think in the one of the more innocuous ones, like a Playboy penthouse, I think our friend Jeff Jeff By, who's an artist now, I, I fuck it, go look him up, ask him about this. He'll verify the story. He's an art like a main. Uh, uh, artist he yeah. he paints like settings of like dilapidated buildings stuff like that. so he uh he uh he's like oh my god and two polaroids fell out of the fucking oh no fell out of the fucking magazine oh no i don't rem i think one was just like a regular like dick shot yeah like selfie because again polaroids that's the only selfie you were getting at the yeah. time and I think the other one was like a shot of his asshole, like <laughs> done like like undercarriage style or something, with a like Captain Morgan leg up on a fucking a crate. Oh, dude! And I'm like, now I'm in panic mode <laughs> because I've now let all these people in, and now our whole floor knows about this kind of shit. Knows about the yellow folder. Knows about the yellow folder. Knows that he took like a picture of his own asshole. <laughs> And a, I, I don't know if you're trying to get with a Polaroid camera, which, dude, all my photos from college are Polaroids. So for because the, we want instant gratification. Yeah, for like the younger audiences, the old <laughs> Polaroid cameras from then, they were quite large. That's a hell of a picture to take. Well, yeah, one-handed too. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you're like, I don't know if he was trying to get an underball shot. And like, or how, or how many, an asshole shot? How many exposures before he got the right one? I don't know, because there were only two photos. Oh, so but, like, but, you, but the history. Would you throw out the bad ones? Because my Polaroid film was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's, like, if it's like a blurry if it's like a blurry thing. Oh, my like, God. There must have been a couple of Sasquatch <laughs> sighting photos there. <laughs> the blurry Bigfoot. Oh, God. I was like, no, that's my dick. <laughs> like, the, like, the dick pic probably took one. But but like with not not being able to see yeah. oh yeah 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 so yeah. I'm in panic <laughs> mode because now like nobody's gonna really tell the whole school yeah you know but your block telephone knows. story no 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 I'm saying if it was just like dirty magazines yeah there's there's no embarrassment there like yeah. oh the whole school's not gonna find out about it yeah. but now <laughs> I'm like popping mamas and fucking you've seen the professor's asshole. Uh, the the professor the professorial poll the so professorial. to speak so i'm like oh no and i'm like trying to get these four or five guys to take a vow of silence i don't know what i was thinking 
I knew I'd <laughs> fucked up. Because, yeah. But I was like trying to swear, dude, you cannot. I got to live with this guy. I'm yeah. like, Mama Mia, please. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'll dude, buy a peach every Friday. Please don't. <laughs> dude, At one, he never said anything to me. But at one point, I sat down in the stalls because the bathrooms were like, it was like a hall and it was like yeah. a community bathroom. And, and the bathroom had like five or six stalls of yeah. toilets and it had like five or six showers, you know, that were like, you know, individually, whatever. And, and you know, uh, I sat down in a stall once and I look up and on the wall in the stall is like, why, Chris, why did you take a picture of your asshole? <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I'm like, I, I'm like, I'm not wiping this off. I'm like lazy. And plus, it's like, you know, if I wipe it off, it's not the end of the trouble anyways. Dude, like two weeks later, I sat down in there again, and there was a whole dissertation explanation from him. Oh, my God. <laughs> about, like, my girlfriend, and we were sending pictures to one another. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why do you send your girlfriend a picture of your ass? I, it's a dick pic, like today. Yeah. It's, it's li we're literally talking the 90s version yeah. of someone sending a dick pic and it ending up being sent to the wrong yeah. person and then it getting out everywhere. This is, like, the, the analog version of this it's yeah. fan it's dude the yellow <laughs> fucking folder the fucking pop and mamas the fucking pop and mamas. selfies of his own butthole I, it reminds me of another story <laughs> oh shit when we worked at the comic book store uh for my friend chris he had a guy that also worked there that uh i don't remember what his name was but he wanted to be called ray the uh, the crow he went, or the Raven, one or the other. I don't remember which one it was. Can't respect anyone who says it like that. And he was like one of those super goth, because again, we're talking mid yeah. mid nineties here. Super goth, wearing the black trench coat, the middle of summer, kind of with the eyeliner yeah. and fucking the hot topic jewelry and the fucking weirdo hairdo. Uh, and he was like an okay guy, but he uh, they caught him stealing. Oof. And a lot of times when you they would catch someone stealing, they would immediately make him take them to their house and they would reclaim everything they had stolen and they'd grab other shit because what the fuck, you know. Yeah, fuck not you. Complain. Uh, and so they did this with him and they grabbed a bunch of stuff and we were going through it back at the shop. Again, porno mags, like <laughs> penthouse and Playboy and nothing really edgy. Yeah. Although I think around that time or maybe it was later, penthouse started doing this weird thing where they would have girls peeing it was a weird time i don't think these were them okay. but i i, I want to say it was around, I, listen i didn't I, know this <laughs> listen, i i got enough i got so many stories <laughs> one time we got to talk about my college uh yearbook photo but okay. uh not today so this fucking guy because there's always something it can't just be this guy just jerks off yeah. the penthouse we start going through them and like, you know, it's Tell not cuts the faces out or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to get there. He um, like when you're going through and like the first two pictorials are fine. You're yeah. like, all right, this spread with this girl. Yeah. That's all. Then all of a sudden you hit one. And what he has done is he has glued photos of male genitalia <laughs> on the women's vaginas. Oh but God. not only has he just randomly, he has found the right size <laughs> and the right like position, angle. So he's taking time? These <laughs> to make it as believable as possible. <laughs> like like if you don't rub your finger over it to feel that it's uh, uh, like a raised new picture and glued on, you would swear this is right. <laughs> Other than like from picture to picture, the dick color doesn't match or something like that. But... He had literally gone through, like, I guess a, a male version of play, Penthouse. Yeah. Found the guy in a similar pose, photoshot at the same relative size so that everything matched perfectly. And, I mean, this was, listen, I'll give him credit. This was well fucked. This was, again, this was analog Photoshop. This I was, was 90s say, Photoshop. Imagine how much time that took. Dude. And so we were like, holy shit. So there were like he three. He's in Thailand now for sure. So there were like three of the magazines had like two or three. So I think like he had done it four or five times over the course of like yeah. 
two or three magazines. We were like, we were like equally amused and impressed <laughs> by this because listen, like whatever your thing is, yeah. like if you like chicks with dicks, whatever, yeah. man, whatever. I like he to say, just, like to say, I haven't seen a couple of videos. Yeah. Okay, he's just providing for himself, which wasn't out to be offered. I don't. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they didn't make those magazines back then yeah. or if you couldn't buy them off the rack and he didn't want yeah. something coming to the house that his mom might find in the mail. <laughs> so this was the solution. Chrissy, we have an issue. Because then it would always come in like, you know, they, they yeah. say the brown oh, wrapper. Yeah. Yeah. It's like immediately raises all yeah. the flags back then. Yeah. So, yeah, those two stories are like. I, oh, my goodness. Like I, they're burned in my memory. That's fantastic. So, yeah. What the, what, what's the time on this? Oh, you want me to tell the you want me to tell the. The snake in the toilet story. Uh, so, so, oh, so, so oh, our snake in the toilet story. My snake in the toilet. Oh, your snake in the toilet story. You have a snake in the toilet. I thought you were talking about the one, the the the, the toilets we snaked a few. Oh weeks, no 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 ago. no a live snake. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh okay yeah yeah okay I'll tell. oh yeah yeah no, absolutely. so like <laughs> so like a few days ago this is what reminded me to do it uh, Chrissy one of our Breakfast Club. Uh, uh, f friends friends and uh, fans uh, she posted a duet on TikTok where one side's the video and the other is you watching and reacting or commenting on it mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying that because I know you're you haven't looked at your TikTok yet um, so uh, it's there <laughs> so uh, she's watching a video where uh, they're shooting like into the toilet and you see like a snakehead coming up out of the drain yeah and she's like oh hell no 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 no!" i said oh that happened to my roommate and she's like I'll, I'll, i'm like i'll tell the story on on the podcast so well, now I, I promise so i gotta do it there you go chris so years ago when i lived with dan who that's a whole nother story you know that story mm -hmm. with uh you know <laughs> the girlfriend shenanigans and, uh, whatever we'll get into that another time um same exact layout as this apartment because it was in this complex. Yeah. I lived here 10 years before yeah. a, for a good three-year stretch, four-year stretch. Um, we're watching, like, football. We had had, like, two TVs set up. We were watching, like, Red Zone on one and the yeah. Dolphins on the other or whatever. He's a big New England guy. He's from Massachusetts. He uh, – I, th uh, I don't think anyone else was here. I think my friend Rob came afterwards uh, to watch games. Uh, he runs out of his room wide-eyed and when he'd get agitated the boston accent would flare up more <laughs> and uh he was like there's a giant snake in my room and i'm like what he's like there's this big fucking black snake in my room and so i'm like get the fuck out of here he's like i walked in there and i saw it slither right it shot right across the floor and went into my closet that's like what and he's like i swear to god and he's like making it sound like it was 10 feet long yeah he, uh, it's a, it's a brief story. He, uh, we went and we moved a couple of things in the closet and there was like this big black snake. I'm like, well, I, I don't, I didn't, I don't, you know, I'm yeah. not going to fucking touch a snake. No. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know if this is like, uh, poisonous or not. Yeah. Cause I know we got like, we got fucking all kinds of black, shit down here, you know, yeah. black fucking snakes that are poisonous yeah. that are, oh, we're always in my canals when I was a kid growing up. Um, Cotton mouth? Cotton mouths are the ones. Are black, there. but they have like white underneath. Like that's why I call them cotton mouths. So, white so, around. No, their... I think they're gray. Uh, well, I think they're black. But we've but got a, we've got a couple different. Agree to disagree yeah. because we don't we don't fact check here. <laughs> no. And, so, and and neither one of us are like wilderness experts. <laughs> right. So uh, so uh, he's freaked out. So he has to call animal control to come get this, and it's like a fucking Sunday. In the middle of the day. So, you know, this wasn't like can, week weekday rates. Yeah. So this guy comes and uh, he he gets the snake and he's got it in like uh, those pincers. Yeah. With the extended pincers, like a grabbing thing. Like if you were to pull something off a tall shelf that you yeah. can't reach. Um, and he's got it like right around the neck area. And it's got to be three feet long. Jesus. It's got to be three feet long. And uh, and he takes it and, and my roommate is like, the whole time before this guy gets here is talking about how he's moving back home tonight. This is this is fucking it. <laughs> this is it. This is this is this is this is this is the button, right? And there. I'm like Beep. panicking because I'm like, yeah. I can't afford the rent by myself yeah. and the bills or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'm like downplaying it, whatever. Uh, and he asked the guy, how did it get up here? And he's like, well, 
It could be a couple of things. It could be that he came in under the door, front door. So the next day we have maintenance, put one of the, those like sweep seal things to make sure. But uh, uh, just in case, because he's like, yeah, it could have come up in someone's like a uh, bag of, he said bag of groceries, but I think it could have been more like it hid in someone's like, if someone bought a potted plant from like Home Depot, it could have slithered out or it could have come up the stairs. He said, or, and this is the more likely way, uh, it could have come down the the vent pipe and come up through your toilet. And Dan almost passed out on the spot <clears throat> thinking it could have come up the toilet while he was sitting on it. I'm laughing. He's traumatized. I'm trying to keep him from fucking packing his bags that afternoon. <laughs> I'm going, well, there's a Patriots game coming on. You at least yeah. need to sit and watch yeah, that, yeah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. For the next two months, I would walk by and glance into his bathroom and there would be a flat board <laughs> over the toilet. <laughs> it would be a flat board over the toilet. I'm like, I'm like, dude, this is like a lightning strike. Once a, to once a snake's crawled up your toilet, it's never happening again. Yeah. It's like getting struck by lightning. There would be a flat board over the toilet, then the seat down on top of it, then the lid down on top of that, and then a 50-pound uh, uh, barbell on top of that. I would have fucked with him so bad. <laughs> I listen because of a nor another story. I'm not going to tell right now. I was always kind of living on thin ice with this guy oh, for okay. the next three years. Oh yeah. Oh, there yeah. was no fucking around. The, I think the only rib I pulled on him was that I filled his entire medicine cabinet with glass marbles once. <laughs> <laughs> so when he opened it, they all spilled out. But again, yeah. No way to film it. I would have so, you know. set the weight somewhere where it looked like it, it, it had been pushed looked off. Looked like it had all been knocked off. I'd have, I'd have punched a hole through the center of the uh, wood. That would have been a rib. <laughs> no, I would have made it look like the like the like if you had just shifted the wood over enough so there was a little gap. Mm. And then the and the weight was knocked off like it had been. You yeah. Know, maybe even break a tile like it fell yeah. and broke a tile. Or just move the board enough to look like someone could could you know conceivably like, like make it Like a snake through. could squeeze through. Yeah. And then he'd be looking around, his, tearing his room apart again. He you. He would call you in such a panic state. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Was, I, the, I mean, it's funny to have a toilet that I, again. I don't know that came up to yeah. the toilet, but that he said that's got to be the reason. There's no way because we were on the third floor at that time. Yeah. We were on the third floor, vaulted ceilings, no garage, not worth yeah. it. By the way, um, he that there was I I just couldn't think there's any way a snake went up two sets of stairs mm -hmm. or a snake that big snuck up in someone's how like, did they get here potted, it had a key potted plant or something <laughs> and it wasn't like a pet yeah. yeah the other thing was it wasn't poison he's like oh this is like a I don't know what he said like a garden Gra snake or gardener something gardener snake yeah. grass snake something he said yeah it wasn't poison so I'm like oh well who knows you know yeah. I'm not a, a a herpetologist is that a herpetologist Herp is that a reptile guy no. what's a reptile guy I don't no, but it's not a herpetologist. If it is, I'm going to really rub it in later. <laughs> That'll be next week's podcast. So don't look it up. We're going to save that one. All right. Well, we'll say I'm, 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 if, if anyone's still listening, uh, if you could correct Ben on whatever the fuck he just said. All right. Whatever. Like I thought a, a reptile guy was a herpetologist. So uh, <laughs> pretty sure herpetologist works with like herpes. <laughs> Yes, yes, Ben. Yes, <laughs> maybe, maybe reptiles with herpes. So, <laughs> so I was, so I, we were convinced it had to have come up to the fucking toilet because no <laughs> way it was going to climb two flights of stairs. You know, yeah. this is not going to happen. It doesn't have any feet. I thought that he, that maybe a bird grabbed it and dropped yeah. it on the roof, and then it went down the da the yeah. the upstream pipe, the vent pipe, or whatever it's called for the plumbing. Uh, and <laughs> so, but I just like to this to this day, I I just think he's probably paranoid of sitting on a bowl. But oh, it, bro, he's got all kinds of anxiety issues because of that 100%. But eventually he stopped leaving a weighted. He yeah. must have, because he was a bit of a lazy guy yeah. where, like, uh, he didn't clean. He didn't do any of that stuff. So I could see him getting annoyed with having to unpack and repack yeah. this whole, like, weighted uh, snake <laughs> prevention thing he had devised on his toilet. <laughs> It's funny too because any, because as you're talking, the only thing I can think of is all the stories in Australia of that shit happening. He fucking wanted to move back to Boston that fucking night, and, and over the years he's always talking about moving back. But he, uh, I think he still lives down here. Uh, but yeah, the 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 snake toilet story was a good one. That that was 
That was good. And a, that was good. And a, good, a good roommate adventure. Maybe one day we'll tell the other roommate adventures. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's that's a good one. That's a, <laughs> that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we had a little. Rough, it was a rough week. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. We got anything else to talk about? No, I uh, think this week? unless you got a good story, man. I think uh, no, man. Um, I'm just. I was just glad on Friday when I looked at my bottle of uh, bourbon and went, "Yay, we can we can drink now." <laughs> um. It took like, by the way, like a full two days to get all the mud and dirt out of my hair and my ear canals. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because you would think, I mean, it kicked up. Yeah. It's fresh water coming out of the pipe, but it keeps digging up the hole to the point where all that dirt to fill those holes was gone. 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 We can't. We the. We couldn't fill them in. We have no. to get. We have to go buy a bag of dirt or sand or something. Yeah. It's. It's. Um, it was. Oh man. It's one of those things where it's only – in my entire time of doing that kind of backflow work, I've only had like three situations to where I, I was like, maybe maybe now's a good time to give up. Um, <laughs> and fortunately, we were able to, to, to fix it. Um, and, and actually, I could tell both those stories in future podcasts because they're, they're both good stories um, about uh, how the city's ineptitude when it comes to the domestic water control is uh, – fantastically ruined my day <laughs> all, all i know is uh, when you were talking about the dirt uh it yeah. took i couldn't even get run my fingers through my hair oh at the and end you had of, a hat on i'd had on, but my but you know I the got, ponytail must have been i off. tied back yeah. it was like yeah so the the back of my neck was covered in dirt and all the hair there i literally had to stay in the shower for like good 10 minutes to get it all untangled out of there like and just then, your hair yeah and, yeah. and just like yeah, like two days, like, you know, you try and get it out of your ears and stuff. But like a day later, I still, I, I grit my teeth all afternoon, which yeah. is driving me crazy. It didn't matter how much we drank or anything. It was like, it was just there. Yeah, it was oh, there. it's the worst, man. Yeah. It was the worst. Well, probably because maybe some of it was in my f- facial hair too. Yeah. So it would end up in my mouth. I don't know. That yeah. was, a, it was a hell. It was, it was a hell of a day. It was like man glitter. It was but, everywhere. But to be honest, at least if we're going to go through that shit uh, to benefit with 2 million views and. Five thousand followers and all that. So at least there's a some payoff. of which may be listening to this podcast as we speak. And and if uh, anyone pays to use the video, we'll be uh, eternally know, grateful. At least we'll we'll be able to get a steak dinner at some point. So you know, all right, bud. This was good. Yeah, this was good. I think I think we're done. happy birthday, Margaret. Happy birthday, Margaret. I'll be seeing her later today. Oh, are you bringing there. a cupcake? Um, I think the wife got her like one of those really nice Paris morning cakes. One of those like ice cream cakes. Oh, ice cream cake. Yeah. All right. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.